It makes me cringe to see people using essential oils on their pets without trying hydrosols first. As a certified clinical aromatherapist, I know when it's best to use essential oils and when it makes more sense to use hydrosols. I'll explain what hydrosols are in a minute, but they're a remedy, unlike essential oils, that are safe for dogs, cats, and other small pets. I'll also be sharing how hydrosols differ from essential oils, when to use hydrosols instead of essential oils, and three ways you can use hydrosols as a remedy for your pets. And I'll address two additives often found in hydrosols, one that is safe for your pets and one that is not safe. So let's get started. If you're going to learn about using essential oils safely, get your information from someone who doesn't profit from selling them. Leah Jacobson is an essential oil safety expert with the honor of educating over a million health conscious families on safe remedies for themselves and their loved ones. Welcome to Using Essential Oils Safely with Leah Jacobson. First, let's talk about what hydrosols are. When plant matter is steam distilled, both essential oils and hydrosols are produced. Hydrosols contain all of the water-soluble constituents, and essential oils contain all of the oil-soluble constituents. How hydrosols differ from essential oils is that they're much gentler, although still therapeutic, and are safe for all sorts of pets, including dogs and cats, and can be used with bunnies and other small pets when diluted. Hydrosols also don't have the safety considerations that essential oils do. No need to worry about minimum ages, pregnancy, drug interactions, phototoxicity, sensitization, and other concerns essential oils have. You can even use hydrosols internally, not just for yourself as a human, but you can give them to your pets, as long as they don't have one certain additive that I will share with you in a few minutes. So when should hydrosols be used and when should essential oils be used? For pets, hydrosols should always be the first go-to. Hydrosols are therapeutic, yet gentle for dogs, cats, and other small pets. And there's not a lot of safety rules to think about like with essential oils. The only thing to keep in mind is small pets other than cats need to have the hydrosol diluted with water at a one-to-one -one ratio. Hydrosols can be applied directly to the skin or fur of pets for topical issues, or can be used internally via a spritz in the mouth, as long as the hydrosol does not have that additive that I will share with you shortly. So when should you use essential oils? If your cat or other small pet is not responding to hydrosols, you can increase the frequency of application, but essential oils aren't an option. However, if you're using with your dog, you have the option to use essential oils. This may be a better choice for dogs who don't respond well to hydrosols, or if the hydrosol remedy is not responding quickly enough, like for anxiety. Next, I'm going to show you three ways that you can use hydrosols as a remedy for your pets. Keep in mind, some hydrosols are sold with an additive that is not safe for pets, and I'll share what that is next. Before I share the remedies, this information is for educational purposes and is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of a qualified health provider about any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Your pet may have a serious health issue that requires medical attention, such as bleeding issues or seizures. These remedies are not intended to be used instead of getting professional help or to replace medicine your pet is already taking. Never hesitate to seek medical attention. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay seeking care because of something you hear, watch, or read me say. The first of three ways you can use hydrosols as a remedy with your pets is for digestive issues. Digestive pain, cramps, and spasms can be remedied with antispasmodic and digestive calming remedies that specifically help ease digestive system issues like upset stomach, bad food, or constipation. Select a hydrosol with antispasmodic properties and properties calming to the digestive system, such as basil, German chamomile, or ginger hydrosols. For dogs, you can spritz once in the mouth or one to three times on the belly as close to the skin as possible. For other pets, dilute with water at a one-to-one -one ratio. How often you give this remedy will vary depending on how quickly they respond and how serious the issue is. The second of three ways you can use hydrosols as a remedy for your pets is general itching. Antihistamine and anti-inflammatory remedies can help relieve general itching, but 
first ensure the itching isn't from something simple like dry or dirty skin. The remedy for fleas and mosquitoes is different, but for general itching, grab German chamomile, frankincense, or lavender hydrosols. For dogs, you can spritz once in the mouth. I know it sounds weird, but it has a sublingual effect. Or one to three times directly on the itch. For other pets, dilute with water at a one-to-one ratio. How often you give this remedy will vary depending on how quickly they respond and how serious the issue is. The third of three ways you can use hydrosols as a remedy for your pets is nausea. Nausea can come on rather suddenly, so it's a good idea to keep antiemetic remedies handy, such as basil, cardamom, and spearmint. For dogs, you can spritz once in the mouth. For other pets, dilute with water at a one-to-one ratio. How often you give this remedy will vary depending on how quickly they respond and how serious the issue is. If you're wondering where I get my hydrosols, the additive included with some hydrosols that isn't safe for pets, and the one that is okay, that's coming up next. But first, if you'd like a printable version of this episode, you can watch, read, and listen over on leahjacobson.com slash pet classes. Our next episode will discuss using essential oils and hydrosols for pets with anxiety. But if you don't want to wait, you can grab a signed copy of my book, Using Essential Oils Safely with Dogs, at leahjacobson.com slash dog book. This book includes all my recipes for dogs with the same detailed information that I include inside Recipes Lab for humans. And of course, safety profiles for 250 essential oils clearly marked so you know which essential oils are safe to use with your dog and which are not. So what are the additives used in hydrosols and which is safe and which is not? Well, there can be a number of things that companies choose to add to their hydrosols, so always check the label. But I want to focus on these two, Optifen and alcohol. Optifen is the safe one. It's a liquid preservative that can help extend the shelf life of hydrosols. Since hydrosols are water-based, this is smart, and I have no problem using hydrosols with this additive. In fact, my favorite place to purchase hydrosols uses a very tiny, less than 1% amount, just enough to keep hydrosols fresher longer. Alcohol, on the other hand, when added to hydrosols, makes it unsafe to use internally. It also eliminates the option to use as an eyewash or on cuts or broken skin or in the ears or spritzing in your dog's mouth. So yes to Optifen and no to alcohol when it comes to additives in your hydrosols. In the next and final episode of Pet Classes, I'll show you how you can use essential oils and hydrosols to help with your pet's anxiety. What do you want the next collection of classes to be on? Let me know in the comments below.